have a couple of friends from the Oshkosh Mid-Morning Kiwanis group, and they're here to tell us about an amazing event that they have coming up pretty soon here. So I'd like to introduce John Rusinski, who is the event creator, and Todd Seaman, who is the president-elect of the Mid-Morning Kiwanis. So welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Really cool event. I'm so intrigued by it. Um, i got to get the details of the amazing Oshkosh Kiwanis Quest. So first of all, what is it? <laughs> it sounds a little familiar to... It, it is a little familiar. It's loosely based off Amazing Race. Yes. Uh, what we did is we went out, we got 20 local businesses, 21 actually, to sponsor individual stops. Mm -hmm. 10 of them will be mental challenges, 10 of them will be physical challenges. Uh, we will launch all at the same, from the same place and then everyone will kind of spider out across the city to complete their challenges, mm -hmm. get their passports stamped at each stop, and then they will end, their final stop will be at Fox River Brewing for Tellos on the river, and they'll come up, jump in the giant circle, and be announced as team number, whatever team number you are. That is so cool. Sounds like so much fun. And why did Mid-Morning Kiwanis come up with the idea for this? What was the... We were looking for a new, innovative way to kind of highlight how cool Oshkosh is and some of the amazing things that Oshkosh has to do. And we reached out to some of the business leaders in the community and kind of brainstormed this idea over the last year and thought, this is something that would be really fun for our community. Very cool. And it all supports the Kiwanis Club, the Mid-Morning Kiwanis Club, which we can get into the details of that later. Sure. Um, but uh, I guess, how, how many teams are going to be in the race? This is our first year, so we're limiting it to 50 teams. 50 uh, the, teams. 50 Limiting teams. Limiting it to 50 teams. Yes. That's a lot of teams. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are there's some similar, similar events that have been around the uh -huh. nation. And uh, I've talked to some of their organizers, and they said this thing continues to grow. Because yeah. once people get a taste for it, it is a really fun, very memorable, and people love to participate in the event. So cool. And you were talking about um, how there's different challenges, physical, mental. Um, if yep. you follow the Kiwanis Facebook page, I saw the re recently there was a post of a video of you guys testing out some of the potential yep, challenges. Yep, we, uh, we did Elephant Walk, and mm -hmm. that, that was a good one. We, uh, you have to put a nylon on your head and knock over 12 water bottles within a certain distance mm -hmm. in a certain time frame. Looked so like it was a lot, lot of fun, fun to watch. <laughs> Really, a lot of really funny Facebook videos, I think, might come out of this, this oh, whole yes. challenge. Um, yep. uh, so I guess, uh, how can teams get an advantage over the competition before the race starts? There is a, a chance for that. Too. Yeah, there is a chance. If you do your own fundraising, we do have a fundraising page of online at amazingoshkosh.org, and when you sign up, you will get your own fundraising page, and then you can send that via Facebook, Twitter, whichever links you want, and then people can donate. The more you raise as a team, the better your head start. You can get up to a 15 minute head start. Ooh, so for every $200, every $200 you raise, you get a three minute start off the clock before the other teams are released. Which could be the deciding factor between a win or a loss. It right? could be. Most so commonly big. is, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. So what are the prizes? If you're you're in a team and you're competing, what is kind of your motivation well, to? <laughs> first place takes home $1,000 cash. Wow. Second place takes home 500. Third place takes two. 250 and then we will spirit sporadically put a little dollar amounts to other teams for team spirit or best costumes and stuff like that oh costumes if they choose Very to cool well great um sponsors of amazing oshkosh this uh, event obviously doesn't just happen on its own so who made it possible our two major sponsors are oshkosh corporation and thriving financial okay. they have been great in showing their community support for this event Mm -hmm. They help get this off the ground, and then we have a number of different local community ones. Definitely. And that's where the race is starting, over at their offices yep, area. Yep, we'll, we'll be starting over at the Lake Air Center, okay. where both of their offices are located. Very cool. How many people are on a, t a team? Four people per so team. So it's, it's just Four like people. the... 200 people running around Oshkosh, wow. supporting the local businesses and the event. It's going to be great. And it's a great way for the community to get involved, too. So um, the different businesses that you're stopping at, it's a, it's a fun way to get to know Oshkosh a little bit better, even if you've lived here for a while. Right, right? and that was part of the thought of this, of trying to find businesses that you don't hear about every day mm -hmm. and get them to find them. Definitely. So what if you're someone kind of like me, not the most uh, competitive person, you don't want to be on a team, but you want to still be a part of the event and kind of get involved and be supportive. How do you do that? You can go online <laughs> and there's a volunteer button. Mm -hmm. and we'll put you out as a course monitor or have you at one of the stops helping direct people to where they oh, need to be. Perfect. I'm sure you can use some volunteers in that Oh yes. In that aspect. We're also taking donations to the event. We're also doing uh, raffles at the end at Fratello's where people can donate gift baskets, gift cards, things of that nature to help raise money for the event as well. So um, always ways for people to get involved. 
So there will be a whole event at Fratello's at the end of the race too, um, kind of a, a fun party, I guess you could say. Big celebration the, for the, finishing, yes. yes. Very fun. So where can people learn more about Amazing Oshkosh? You've got a great website. Yeah, you can go on the website at amazingoshkosh.org. All the information is there. You can sign up your team, you can make donations, you can volunteer. Wonderful. So Saturday, May 6th, starts at 8 a.m. Uh, and of course, this is all to uh, benefit the Mid-Morning Kiwanis Club and we've got about yep. a minute left. So tell us what you guys do over at the, at the Mid-Morning Kiwanis. Todd? Well, for, you know, we, we certainly are there to dedicated to serving the youth uh, of, of Oshkosh. Um, you know, over the last, we finally this year, uh, John and I were talking out in the lobby a little bit that we just um, broke the $100,000 mark mm -hmm. for education grants in the city of Oshkosh. Um, we support scholarships for the youth. We also do uh, support a, a, an idea of what's called uh, iPads for autism. Mm -hmm. uh, we've recently given away over 40 iPads for those youth. Um, and just, we're dedicated to make a, a difference in the youth of Oshkosh, their lives, you know, supporting the community in that fashion. And, and making you have sure so many great programs. Absolutely. It, it's, you're definitely making a difference and uh, we're very thankful for it. It's just a wonderful group and a wonderful, really fun way to support you guys. So. Uh, thank you both so much for coming in today. It's been great hearing all about this event. We cannot wait to see the pictures and videos of these, awesome. these it's gonna be teams. Great. <laughs> so thanks again. Just come out and get involved. Definitely. Yep. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. And Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. Set design provided by House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard. Oshkosh Today. <laughs>